Guys, welcome to Skirt Garage. My name is Connor. I'm excited to have you on the channel today. What I'm going to be doing is an unboxing and review of the Mighty Vac 7201 fluid extractor. And I'm going to show you how it works on my wife's 2017 Audi Q3. <laughs> So what I've done is bought the best fluid extractor you can buy on Amazon. And when I say the best, I mean it has the highest ratings, it has the best product review uh, of any of the ones there, and it has the longest warranty. So I'm going to test this one out for you guys to see if it's really worth the time and the hassle of changing your oil on your own. And yes guys, I am in a dress shirt. now. I have always done my oil changes the conventional way, but everybody says how easy it is. And I want to test how easy it is by wearing one of two dress shirts I have. So in theory, this is going to be a really good video if I don't spill anything on myself and a really poor video if I do. So Mighty Vac, if I do spill on myself, please send me another dress shirt. I only have two. Uh, if it does end up working out, I hope you guys sell a lot of these because that would mean it's a pretty cool product. And if you guys are new to the channel, I do a lot of car reviews, DIYs, drag races. Uh, please, if you found this video helpful, give this video a thumbs up and a subscribe. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell next to it so you can be alerted each time I make an upload. Alright guys, let's get started with this video. Alright, let's see what we have here. Okay guys, the one I went for is this bad girl right here. It is the 8.8 .8 liter, 2.3 gallon extractor. And I went with this one because it's got a pneumatic feature, meaning that you can hook up a machine to it so you don't have to manually do it. It also has the manual attachment and most engines are not gonna be above 8.8 .8 liters, especially these days uh, when most engines are being downsized. So I figured that the 8.8 .8 liter would be about as big as I could ever get. So that's why I went with it. Wow, okay. I am Stubenstein, this who believes it? No, not gonna work. All right, the whole system here is pretty simple to use and to operate. Uh, basically, it goes like this. This part right here is the part that actually makes the suction seal. So you're gonna put this in first, and if you want it to be sealed, you roll this pin back, and when it's in its locked position, it is now vacuum tight, all right? You take the large diameter hose that comes, and you insert it onto this 90 degree angled uh, little unit right here, okay? After you've done that, you then take the smaller uh, diameter hose, you insert into this grommet and the larger diameter hose here. You make sure that these fit very well and after that, you're good to go. The unique thing about this is that with this push from the bottom up, it's an evacuation mode. So as I push down on the lever, it's blowing out. With this pushed down, it is now in suction mode. So as you push down, it sucks in from the inlet hose. Very cool. It also explains that right here. With that guys, that's everything we need to know. Now it's just time to get the car up to operating temperature. It's really important to know that you do not want the oil over 178 degrees. So don't be running the car for too long or you could possibly burn the hoses or melt some of the plastics on the inside of this. Also, definitely make sure that your car is completely flat, all right? All right, let's get this car turned on and get started. All right, we're gonna take our fluid extractor with our fresh hose right here, and I'm gonna show you one more feature. This is basically a kickstand. When it's on the ground, you just put your foot over as you're pumping so that it doesn't fall over or have any mishaps like that, okay? Okay. 
These are the things you're gonna to need to get the oil change done. Obviously, you're gonna need a filter removal tool. This is 74 millimeters by 14 flutes. Uh, this here is a man engine filter. Uh, this is used on most Audi Volkswagen products. And of course, your 5W40 liquid moly oil. This is German. It's really good oil. You can use other 5W40s, but I do recommend liquid moly. I like them a lot. All right, guys, now that we know what we need, let's get started. Time to test this puppy out. I'm going to leave it here and see if it fits. Because I know one big complaint about these is that they're not long enough, but this seems pretty freaking long. Definitely meeting the bottom of something down there. Let's see what we come up with. We are in the suck mode. That's what she said. <laughs> oh baby. One pitfall that I have seen guys is that a lot of people try to rush this process. You really need to give it a few pumps and then leave it be. If you start trying to pump it too much or to go too fast, you can create too much pressure within this system and you can cause some issues, okay? Now that I've gotten it started, I'm going to loosen the engine oil filter. That should definitely speed this up a little bit. So let it uh, do its thing here and We'll, uh, we'll get started. We'll come back in a minute and see what it looks like. You can see it extracting there pretty nicely. I'm going to show you the oil filter now. Guys, thank you for making it to the end of the video. And if you have, remember to hit the big old like and subscribe. Let's talk about this product, Mighty Vac, or this just really any fluid evacuator. No, I did not spill a single thing on my white shirt, so Mighty Vac, you are off the hook. 
And I do have to say that this is the easiest oil change I've ever done. It only took like 20 minutes, even filming it. All I had to do was turn the car on, pop the engine cover off, remove the oil with this puppy here. While it was doing its thing, I went inside, ate some food and watched some TV, came back out, put everything back, replaced the oil filter, uh, put some oil back in it, checked the dipstick, and I was done. It was dead easy. I didn't have to get on the ground. I didn't have to jack the thing up. If you guys own a top-mounted oil filter, which is basically any European car, I highly recommend that you guys get this product or at least try it out. See if it's something that you would be interested in. And especially if you own an F-Type like myself, I'm gonna show you this right now because it's even better. You literally open the oil fill cap and right there there's a nipple that's specifically designed for the hoses of these extractors to go around it and remove all the contents of the oil. It's dead easy. So for my next oil change, I will definitely be doing this on my F-Type. Guys, I do have to be honest though, these things are not perfect. If you look at the comments and the reviews on Amazon, you will find that the largest pitfall of any evacuator on there is that with time, their seal that goes around the container here can lose its integrity and it can actually leak contents onto your garage floor or it won't be able to suction them out of your motor to begin with. And I have a couple ideas as to why this happens and some tips to help you avoid this. Tip number one is to remove the contents of your Mighty Vac or, or your evacuator as soon as possible. If you suck some motor oil into this or some differential fluid or some brake fluid and you leave it in there for weeks on end, it's gonna fester at the seal of the Mighty Vac here and what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna try to leave. It's gonna try to get out or damage the plastics in there and create a harder time for you to get them in and out the next time you try to use this. Tip number two, and probably the most important, is that you don't create too much pressure inside of the system here. And let me tell you how that could happen. Let's say you are sucking up some motor oil from your jet ski, or from your car, or from your lawnmower, or something like that, but you don't run the engine first. You're gonna try to suction out some very cold, viscous, heavy motor oil. And so you come over here and you start pumping on this really hard like Hercules or whatever and as you're pumping it you're creating tons of pressure within the system but the oil is so thick that it doesn't want to flow it's like trying to suction out syrup or something like that so it has a hard time flowing but there's so much pressure that it ends up trying to leave somewhere this pressure that it hurts the seal around the mighty back and with time if you keep doing that it will corrupt the seal and the contents that you've tried to evacuate will end up all over your garage floor so get the motor oil warm or get whatever you're going to try to suction out warm pump it a few times be patient go eat a bowl of cereal do something come back and you should be ready to roll tip number three is equally as important as tip number two and that's just properly cleaning this after you've used it so what I did when I got done is the first thing I tried to clean was the lines. You have to make sure that the lines are clean when you're putting them into your engine. That way you aren't transmitting any dirt or whatnot into the bottom of your oil pan. But it's also critical to make sure that they're clean after. What I did is I took a large cup of water, I put some Dawn in it, and then I just suctioned all that water out of the cup into the Mighty Vac. And what it did is it cleaned or emulsified the oil as it went into the system. After that, I took this to AutoZone, I put some Dawn and some water in it, I shook it up a whole lot, I dumped it, I asked them if I could fill it up with some water again, so they let me fill it up with water there at AutoZone, I put some more Dawn in it, I shook it up again, and then I dumped it, and this is what it looks like now. It looks like almost brand new. If you do those three things, I can promise you this is going to last a long time. If you don't, if you allow motor oil in here to fester and to sit for weeks on end, or if you create way too much pressure trying to get something out of your lawnmower, or if you just don't clean the lines, I can promise you this will fail early. Maybe only two or three attempts with it. But if you take care of it, this could last you years. So those are my uh, tips I have for you and the product review of the Mighty Vac 7201 Fluid Extractor. I hope you guys have liked this video. If you have, please remember to give it a big old thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.